Government in 2017 introduced the free senior high education policy aimed at ensuring that all qualified graduates from junior high schools have access to secondary education without paying fees. For the governing New Patriotic Party, this was in fulfillment of its 2016 campaign promise. Despite the criticisms that greeted the policy and the initial challenges it encountered, it appears it has come to stay. Some beneficiaries tell City News they would have been dropouts after junior high school if the program had not been rolled out. After the free ages, it has helped me a lot because I'm from a poor family. If not because of the free ages, I wouldn't have come to school. So it has helped me a lot. Uh -huh. If not free exchanges, I wouldn't have go to school. Though for the passes, I've been able to make it. But to be able to get money and go to school is a problem. But the year we wrote our exams, I've been able to go because of the free SHS. To me, the free SHS, although it has helped in a such a way that all students were able to report or were able to go to senior high school. Because someone paying about 1,000 plus or 900 plus going to SHS and now it is free, I think that's what is okay for us. But there are still teething problems like lack of adequate infrastructure to accommodate the increasing numbers. Some beneficiaries say the situation is negatively affecting academic work and needs urgent attention. The free SHS is good but to us it doesn't help us because when we are there, how we are supposed to study, we are not able to study that. And those are in the green tracks, that are days are number more than our days. We don't get the chance. And if you are back to the house, how to get the money and pay for classes? The classes too is always, not, the money that we are supposed to pay, some of us, our parents don't have the money. And if you are coming back, we don't, if you are going back to school too, they will, must have to buy things for us and there will not be money. So we want to see if the government can help us to join together and stop the double track and our school too there's no food for us so sometimes it's only gabins and this in banku that we normally eat and the dormitories too there's no space for us we pay if you come you and your senior always pay one bed and the classroom too there's no furniture there are no then there are no enough furniture and no enough classrooms for us at kanjaga senior high is one we do have dormitories though it's a uh, day a community day senior high but they've posted people from far away so they can't be able to get a uh, place and rent and it, so our appeal if the government can be able to help in the accommodation and the second one is the feeding matters because we those who are from far away me personally if i'm going to school i will spend about 30 cities to school and if I get there, I won't be able to get uh, money to be able to feed myself because they are cooking ones for us. So for the ones, uh, if you eat ones in the morning, you have to feed yourself unless after time that you get food and the evening time to you feed yourself. So I think if the government will be able to help us in the feeding site uh, and the teaching facilities, uh, for instance, the textbooks and other things, the lab, uh, there are science uh, students at our school. I'm a science student, but we don't have laboratories to do practice. Some challenges are even the, the double track system. Some don't have a uh, decent sleeping place. As we are in our school, some have to go and rent. Government should put much effort on the dormitories and then classrooms rather than doing free SHS. Teacher unions such as the Ghana National Association of Teachers, NAT, and the National Association of Graduate Teachers, NAGRAT, in the Upper East region have been proffering solutions to these challenges confronting the program. Atim Charles is NAT chairman of the Bogatanga municipality. Now, government says don't sell textbooks to these particular students. Rather, we will provide. But they are providing only the core. 
The feeding, it comes, but it takes unnecessary delay. We don't know where the problem is coming from. That the, most of the students in the secondary schools here, they don't have furniture. My suggestion is that government should still bring on board the parents' association. Let the parents do what they can do. At least, if the parents have to provide the needed uh, textbooks or the needed um, elective subject textbooks, then the, uh, the parents will be able to do that. Then the parents can also provide uh, the furniture, a table and chair. When you are coming, come with your desk. When you are going, you go home. And it will help. Now, previously, some of the schools here had dormitories built by the parent associations. Now, the parents association are not doing that. So they should be giving the mandate to also label themselves to be able to put up some of these particular things. Upper that East Regional Nagra Chairman Atompoya Samuel says a stakeholder engagement on the implementation process even at this time is critical to help resolve the challenges bedeviling the program. Some of the students come to school and they are on holidays. When they all go on holidays, these parents pay for extra tuition in order to keep the students in school. And I know that some centers that were charging for this uh, tuition runs up to 400 to 400, uh, 500 plus Ghana cities. And so parents feel that it is not something that, that the students complain, especially these first years when they reported to school. I don't say that the feeding was not <laughs> the best for them. Some of them were given gari with some soup. And so we think that it is something that we have to maybe sit on the round table and discuss it, look at the problems and look at the issues, then we can agree the way forward. Government has awarded for the construction of classrooms and dormitories in 36 second cycle institutions in the Upper East region to end the double track system. However, these structures are at various stages of completion. But will government be willing to absorb the cost of vacation classes for students of the double track system? Again, how about proper feeding of students by timely releasing food supplies to beneficiary schools. Reporting from the Upper East Region, I am Frederick Awuni for City Newsroom.